What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think, I think they like that one. If you guys have seen the first ever video we uploaded on this channel, you would have noticed that we had public reactions in that video. And at the time, I felt very awkward doing them. But today, I am proud to say that there has been zero progress. I still feel awkward doing them, but these types of videos tend to do very well on YouTube. So if enough of you smash that like button and subscribe because of this video, I will continue to embarrass myself for you guys and do more of these public reaction videos. Class is in session. We're gonna have a scoreboard throughout this video to keep track of what the ladies are voting for. And throughout the video, you'll come back to myself reviewing and discussing each of these fragrances and I'm going to also try and predict which fragrance will win. Okay, I know who wins. This is recorded after the public reactions, but I'm going to talk to you guys as if I still don't know which fragrance wins to keep things intriguing. The Battle of the Blues. I thought I'd start off our public reaction series with the foundational scents. These are the fragrances that you buy for yourself or for other people that work all year round in all environments. You either already own one of these or you're considering buying one of them. Either way, you most likely have a strong opinion on these fragrances, which will make an interesting discussion down in the comments below. We're gonna have 10 reactions from the ladies. There's no men in this video. If you want a, a fragrance that impresses the men, a uh, boxer dropper fragrance, uh, buy a bottle of Creed Aventus and call the day. But I want you guys to Try and guess which one of these four fragrances is going to win today's battle. Pause this video, put your comment down below, no cheating. And then we'll get back into the video. Versace Dylan Blue. I always describe this fragrance as a mixture of Bleu de Chanel, Dior Sauvage and Aqua Di Gio. It has some smoky nuances, some aquatic nuances, and it's got this youthful synthetic nature to it as well. This gets for me about six to eight hours. It's my least favorite out of the four, and it's gets me the least amount of compliments also. I think this will get a few women's votes in this video, but I do not think this will win. I think the other three are higher quality, but this is the fragrance I recommend to teenagers who want an affordable blue fragrance, as long as you get this when it's on discount. YSLY Eau de Parfum. This is an apple and sage combo. Overall, this fragrance smells sharp and sporty, in my opinion. It's a very easy to wear fragrance. I think it's definitely got that shower gel vibe, but I think it's not youthful or mature. I think all age types can wear this. I always say that this is the most ideal blue fragrance to wear if you're an athletic guy. This is the type of fragrance I always imagine you go to school or college or even work and then you go into the gym afterwards. It just lasts all day. It's pleasant, but it's not a beast in terms of compliments. It still gets you a few of them, but most of the time when I ask the ladies what they think of this fragrance, they usually give it an eight out of 10. It is a pleasant fragrance, but it's not mind blowing. This is the fragrance I recommend to teenagers when they want a higher quality blue fragrance and they don't mind spending a bit more. I think this fragrance will get a lot of votes, but I do not think it will win. Dior Sauvage, the Eau de Toilette. What do you guys want to know about this fragrance that you don't know already? It's known to have a lot of ambroxan, it's highly synthetic and has a lot of pepper in here as well. It's a very piercing, sharp fragrance that the majority of people will love. Out of these four, this is still the most complimented but I do think Sauvage is the type of fragrance you should try before you buy. Some people do not like how piercing this is. I think if this was 2016, this would easily be the winner out of these four. I still think this is gonna do well, and if this might win this competition today, I think it's gonna be a close battle. Bleu de Chanel, the Eau de Toilette. This is my favorite out of the four. I think all three versions are good. I do think Parfum is technically just about the best, but I do think it's a little bit overpriced. So get the EDT or EDP, they're both good. This lasts me about eight hours. It's not a beastly fragrance, but I think it's the most refined and gentlemanly. If you want a gentlemanly signature, get Bleu de Chanel. This doesn't give me as many compliments as Sauvage, but I think this will be the winner of today because if people smell this up close, they'll appreciate how well blended and high quality this is. Okay guys, let's try this transition. Okay, 
Okay, so I'll give you all the four paper strips at the same time, and okay. you just take your time smelling each one and letting us know which one you like the most. That one's not as strong as the others. It smells the most generic. Okay, oh, that's generic, okay. Second one smells most like a boys' changing room. <laughs> Sorry, whoever's <laughs> fragrance that is. You just hurt a lot of guys <laughs> watching this. I think the last one, I think it's the kind of must Yes, which I think is my favourite. Can you point out the one you just that one. chose? That one there. Okay. Uh, so you you call Bleu de Chanel the most generic. YSLY <laughs> smells like a boy's changing room. <laughs> no, which is fair enough. Which oh, is sorry. you insulted Yves Saint Laurent. That's fine, thank you. I and actually quite like some other Yves Saint Laurent bathrooms, <laughs> so No, that's fine, you just destroyed the brand. Okay, that's fine. And um, you've actually chosen uh, Dior Sauvage. Have you heard of that fragrance? Nice, I haven't. No. Yeah, it's a, it's a very popular fragrance. Um, what would you give it out of ten? Oh, uh, eight. You give Dior Sauvage eight out of ten. Yeah. Okay, great. That one smells like that smells like um, Calvin Klein. It smells like Calvin Klein one. I don't think it is. If I okay, fair that enough. Out correctly, that bean. I'll let you know what they are. Uh, okay, all right. This one next. That one smells like women's fragrance. <laughs> oh right, I think that one smells like women's fragrance. Okay. This, this one. Mhm. Mm that's quite nice, they're quite subtle. And then this one. I think that one's my favourite. This one's definitely your favourite? Yeah, I think so. Or the first one. That one or the first one. This one again. Have another smell. No, I'll go the first one actually. Yeah, the first this one. This one here. Mm -hmm. What would you give yeah. out of 10? Uh, like an 8. Give that an 8 say, out of 10? Yeah, give it an 8 out of 10. What kind of guy would you imagine wearing something like that? I don't know. I feel like it's quite like a day to day like, scent. So maybe like. So I'm going, I don't know really. Anyone. Any, literally yeah. anyone. No, I don't know. Like, I, first, I feel like they're all quite salt. I don't feel like any of them, except the, the one that I said was almost this one. Yeah. Like, I don't imagine like, quite like a dark, mysterious <laughs> type person, but this one I just feel like, I don't know. The type of guy, like, I don't know. Like, it, it's work, quite versatile, kind of anyone. Yeah. Yeah. Great, so YSL wins this one. There we oh, are. Is That's it? YSL, yeah. Okay. All right. What do you think of this one? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I think they like that one. Prefer the last one. Very similar though. They are. They all have a similar vibe. In fact, they're in a similar the genre. Last one smells expensive. Yes, I suppose it's a Chanel fragrance. So yeah, yeah fair enough. Smells expensive. What would you give it out of ten? The last one. If that's your favourite. Nine. A nine out of ten. Yeah. I give like it the same a score. Chanel one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like a Chanel one. Okay. You guys just smell each one and see what you think of them. Is it Sauvage? Potentially. It has the same same sort of smell as Savant. Oh, this is a bit more like fruity. Okay, so which one which one out of these two is your favourite? Okay, all right, and yourself? Okay, so that's that is Savage, yeah, you got Savage. Oh, you know nice. you know Savage, it's very popular, yeah, yeah. And uh, you chose YSL uh, the Y. What would you give them both out of ten, your two favourites? I give it an eight. Eight. Eight, six. So you give them Savage an eight. Why an eight? It's only suitable for certain things. You wouldn't want it because it's very strong. You wouldn't always want to wear it, but for a special occasion, it's good. And your your fragrance one you chose? It's just quite a nice like scent to have as like if that's your personality and that's what you feel. I think it's pretty nice. Nice and versatile. Yeah. All right. So I'll give you guys the four paper strips. They all smell quite similar. Yeah. Um, the first one. I quite. I actually really like that one. Is that, is that the same one you chose as well? No, she no I chose the first one. Okay, yeah, I, I like the last one. I like the second one. <laughs> second I like the one in the middle. You like the one on the left here, which is Blue de Chanel. How would, what would you give it out of ten? Eight. Eight, okay. And you liked... The last one. The last one is uh, Dior Sauvage. Mm. Have you heard of that fragrance? No, but I like it. I, I think I'll give it seven, eight. Okay, eight everyone's giving it eight today. <laughs> the one you liked... I like the second second one is uh, YSL, it's an Yves Saint Laurent fragrance, what would you give it out of 10? I'd give it a 9. A 9? Oh, It was quite subtle, I thought it was quite nice. Yeah. Nice, okay, and would, <laughs> what kind of man would you imagine wearing that YSL fragrance? Not like too out there, yeah. like maybe a bit introverted, I don't know. Introverted? Like, yeah. If you'd like to take all four of these and just try them one by one. Okay. Tell me which one's your favourite. Mm, it's between one and two. I would say two. Big reveal is that two is a Chanel fragrance. What would you give uh, Blue de Chanel out of ten? I'd give it an eight. Eight out of ten. And yeah. uh, what kind of man would you see wearing it? A businessman. A businessman? Yeah. Yep, someone professional, Definitely. well put together. Yes. 
I think I completely agree with that. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so, so take them one by one okay. and, just, and just smell from a distance. Try to see which one out of the four is your favorite. <laughs> that one's yeah. overall out of the four, this yeah. one's your favorite. Yeah. Okay, and what, what would you both give it out of ten? Eight. Eight out of ten. Everyone's giving it an eight today, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would give it a nine. A nine so out of ten. Yeah, it's very it's fresh. Fresh, yeah. Sharp, fresh. Yeah, yeah sharp. sharp well, fresh. What kind of man would you guys expect to wear that fragrance? Um, intelligent and sporty. Sporty, I always and say that. If I give you these four. Okay. And you try each one by one, smelling from a bit of a distance. I quite like the first one. Okay, uh, what would you give it out of ten, this one here? Um, about eight out of ten. Eight out of ten, that's yeah. the usual score everyone keeps giving it today. Oh, really? eight out of ten. <laughs> eight out of ten. Um, what kind of man would you imagine wearing this fragrance? This is a YSL fragrance, by the way. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know, so it's not too strong, so maybe someone that's like professional, or I don't know. Yeah, probably someone professional. Okay, like yeah. Or something. <laughs> yeah, it's a fresh, easy to wear yeah. fragrance. Yeah, nice one. We have a winner, YSLY Eau de Parfum. Were you guys expecting that result? I personally thought a lot of the ladies would give this an 8 out of 10. I was correct about that, but I did not think this would win. I think this just goes to show this is probably the safest fragrance to buy out of the four. I think it gets the balance right between some youthfulness, some refinement from Bleu de Chanel, and still has that synthetic mass appeal from Sauvage. As I said, it's a safe fragrance, it's a jack of all trades, master of none. I hope you enjoyed today's video guys. Would you like to see more public reactions? And if you would, which fragrances would you like me to put head to head? Make sure to check out our other videos. In the meanwhile, I'll see you in the next one guys. Class dismissed.